Hi, I'm George Cow, and in today's short video, I want to bring forward an idea that Mahatma Gandhi brought forward to society, which is, he called it the seven social sins, which are behaviors he was observing in society that, if continued to be practiced, would create, is creating, and will create even more injustice, suffering, unequal, uh, unequalness among people um, in such a way that is, um, that our, our souls call for something greater and eventually these seven social sins would create um, devastation in society, uh, collapse. Um, I will put the, the notes of that in the, in the notes of this video, but today I want to talk about the first social sin that he brought forward, uh, wealth without work. Wealth without work. By the way, there's my sweet little dog buddy. Um, Wealth without work, I'm, I'm going to, uh, you know, um, the official Gandhi organization has written about that recently, and I'll put the notes in the video, uh, uh, I'll put that paragraph in the notes of this video. But I want to apply it today, Wealth Without Work, to my industry of coaching, um, particularly um, business and marketing trainings and coaching. That's, I, I know my industry obviously extremely well. And the dream in my industry I think is unjust. I think it's broken. And the dream, there's, there's a dream that that's, has two sides to it. One is, as a coach, business coach, I'm supposed to, as I get better and better at my craft, I'm supposed to charge more and more and more per hour so people know how, how much my work is worth. So, you know, instead of charging 100, 200 an hour, um, eventually I'll be charging $2,000 an hour because my work is worth that much. And that never felt quite right to me. $2,000 an hour, okay, is my work worth 20 times? And people can say, well, you're creating lots of value for your clients. Um, and I feel like that is a cop-out in terms of right livelihood. I, I don't, I think you could always argue, well, I created a million dollars worth of value for my clients, so I should be paid a million dollars an hour or $500,000 an hour because I, right? It's, it's, it, the, the, the logic is, 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 there's, is false. There's something wrong with that. Our souls are calling us for something deeper and something more just. And I think, for, for so that one part of the dream of charging $2,000 an hour, right, so we can, we, can, we can relax more and don't have to serve as many clients, I think it should be, let me give you a better alternative. Instead of charging $2,000 an hour, we could still charge a you know, reasonable amount, the amount that is, doesn't make us seem like greedy people in the market. We charge, let's, I don't know, coaches, respectable coaches, $250 an hour, for example, or $350 an hour. But instead, we can be more selective about who our clients are. We can serve clients that are an even better fit. And the clients that are either cannot afford us or are less of a better fit, we should be referring, doing more to refer people out. Okay, so therefore our work is even more effective rather than somehow getting more and more expensive. The other part of the dream is that is passive income. To be selling information products like ebooks and webinars and online courses and video series that we create once and we can profit for you know for years or at least for months. And that's never felt quite right to me because we can always be making our information more updated rather than having this dream of creating something once and profiting for years we should be because the thing is if we're selling information people the when it comes to information online right even six months is outdated now because within three or six months lots of people in the world are blogging creating videos and there's always better ideas out there, more integrated ideas, deeper ideas, broader ideas, more updated ideas. And as info product creators, it's our calling, I would say even our duty, our souls calling us to be better and to create updated versions of our info products so that future buyers are always getting the very best. If they're paying for information rather than spending half an hour Googling it online. If they're paying for it, they ought to get the very best and most updated. So. Let's be wary about wealth without work in our industry. Our souls are calling us to be more magnanimous and better and to, to earn an honest pay for an honest day's work. Um, it's not just moralizing. I'm not doing moralizing here. I think our moral compass is actually allowing us to live more fulfilled lives. 
that's what morality is for. It's not for judging other people or judging ourselves. It's for a compass to live a truly more deep and fulfilled lives. So that's my message for you today. Until the next video, I wish you joyful and balanced diligence. Be well.